Another day, another list of outgoing rumours. Are we actually going to sign someone anytime soon? Find out the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours right now. All right, guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward. Welcome back to the Ollie Ward channel. Happy Friday. Hope you all had a fantastic week and you're ready for the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. As always, before we get into it, be sure to smash that like button. We smashed over 400 likes yesterday. Look at this guy's smile. I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for that. Let's try and get similarly sort of close to that range if we could. If not, no worries. Subscribe if you're new as well. Look how quick we are growing, ladies and gentlemen. 16,000 subscribers is round the corner. Get down there and subscribe right now. And today I want you to comment, what is the worst transfer business for Leeds United ever? Like, what's the worst transfer? I think, you know, Gene, Kevin, Augustine's got to be up there for at least someone. But let me know in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get into the latest Leeds United transfer news and rumours. We're starting off with Pascal Stroik. Pascal Stroik. Stroik. However you want to say it. I'll go Pascal Stroik. Um, Torino do want the young Dutch centre half. Obviously, he was out injured for the back end of last season. I, de I genuinely do believe if we had Pascal maybe in the back line in the end, like near the playoffs and things, I actually do believe we'll go up. I think he's so influential. An Italian club, Torino, do like the look of the centre half. This is from reliable Sky Sports international reporter uh, Gianluco Damasio, tier one source. Uh, currently, they're deciding which centre back targets they're going to seriously aim for in the next few years days. This, like I said, this is coming from a reliable source in Demazio. Again, there's nothing there right now, but uh, Pascal Stroik is on the list of centre-halves that the Italian side do want, which is understandable. He's a young, brilliant centre-half. If I'm going to, you know, put my bets anywhere, I would put my bets on him not going anywhere in this transfer window at all. I think he's a, a massive sort of key part of Daniel Farker's side for next year. Definitely, you know, he's he's wore the armband. Uh, I think it's, it's going to be Ethan Ampadu's now. But when Ethan Ampadu's not there, your second in line is definitely Pascal Stroik. We obviously need to keep him fit. He has a, a he had a bad injury problem, obviously, last year. But honestly, when he's ready, when he's playing that left centre back, He's absolutely brilliant. Him and Joe Roden next year are going to be crucial. Hopefully the 49ers and Daniel Farker agree with me not to get rid of young Pascal. But yeah, just to let you know, it's a reliable source in uh, Damasio Sky Sports International Reporter. Nothing's concrete, but they like the look of the centre half and they want him. Next up, we're talking Elan Melier. Obviously, Elan Melier always kind of, you know, spirals into, do you like him? Do you want him? Like, uh, people... The thing is, I'm in that weird camp where one week he does brilliant. The next week, I'm like, oh, let's get rid of him. I think he's replaceable. But uh, Marseille do like the look of the young French goalkeeper. This is reported from uh, Le Provence that uh, they have uh, reported that contact, uh, contact sorry, has already happened between player and club, although interest is in early stages and no mention of talks between Marseille and Leeds. The report suggests that Leeds are sort of targeting and saying that the price of Elan Melier will be around £20 million. Pounds. This is due to his Premier League experience at a young age. Obviously, he's had a couple of seasons in the Championship as well. Leeds United want to get close to £20 million for him. I don't know if Marseille will want to go for that sort of price. I, I don't know if they're going to uh, reach an offer there, but apparently there has been talks between player and club. Very early stages. Probably won't happen, but, you know, this is definitely one to look at as well. A Frenchman returning to his country, playing for, you know, a, a big, very good team in Marseille. So this could definitely happen. I just don't see it happening in the region of £20 million personally. But Leeds United and the 49ers currently say his market price is around that. Next up, looks like Charlie Cresswell will complete his French move to Toulouse. Obviously, at the start of the week, it looks like them talks were broken down. This was nothing due to clubs uh, agreeing terms. It was actually with personal terms and the 21-year-old struggling to come to personal terms with the new move out in France. There's still championship interest in the player too. Uh, negotiations, like I said, between the clubs have pretty much been sorted from the last time out, uh, but it's down to player agreement now. This would be a big move for Charlie Cressoir. You know, I, I think after the, the debacle between him and Daniel Farker, I just think the relationship's gone. I like the look of Charlie Cresswell. He looked brilliant at Millwall. He's looked good in his glimpses in the lead shirt. 
I thought he was going to be a future Leeds United captain, but it looks it doesn't look like that, that way. And that's just unfortunate. And I wish him the best of luck if this does go through. But like, like I said, there's still championship interest there. But it does look like, according to Adam Pope um, and, and Baron Cross and a lot of reliable Leeds United sources, especially in this summer transfer window, it looks like he could be completing his move to the French side, Toulouse, in the next few days. Next up, we're talking Glenn Kamara. He's been one that's been in and around the news. A lot of teams like him. He had a decent season last year. I know the Brighton like the look of him. But main targets and main lead targets are Rennes out in France. France. Uh, Oist France report that there's been an agreement, but as we know of right now, there has been no deal agreed with Leeds United, who at their stay their stance of they want to keep Kamara. Again, this is from Adam Pope, who did report that Leeds United weren't looking to sell uh, the Finnish midfielder. And then about two, three hours later, a French source came out and said, it looks like he's already, uh, you know, there's an agreement there. So I don't really know where this one lies. I think Leeds United and the 49ers and Daniel Farker will want to keep on to Glenn Kamara because if you do get rid of him, you've got to replace him, obviously. But also we need midfielders on top of the midfielders we've already got. Obviously, we've already got rid of Shackleton, who can play in the middle of the park. Archie Gray, who can get, uh, you know, can play in the middle of the park as well. I think that's why the likes of Oliver Skip rumours still float around. But as of right now, Leeds United do not want to sell Glenn Kamara unless a big offer comes in. Like, they've kind of been on the stance of Archie Gray's been sold now. If a player's now going to be sold, it's going to be down to a player saying, I want to leave the club let's sort it out. And I don't think uh, Glenn Kamara is pushing for a move as we know right now. Uh, next up, Lorente latest. Obviously, we knew at the, I think at the start of this week, could have been the back end of last week now, there was an earlier fee of £3.8 million or around that. And that was rejected uh, from Leeds United from uh, Rail Betis. Uh, they've apparently gone back in again with another offer closer to the original fee Leeds bought for, but not very close at all because I can't remember how much Leeds pay for Lorente. I think it was in the region of 15 to 20 million pounds, which we all know we are not going to get that for Diego Lorente. I think it's between five and seven million they've gone in for. Again, this has been confirmed that this is not going to be an easy deal to get over the mark between uh, you know Leeds United and Rail Betis. Obviously, there's a decent relationship there with the Mark Rocker deal and uh, if Diego Lorente does go through, he will be joining Spanin, uh, Spanish teammate uh, Mark Rocca. Apparently, personals have been agreed already with Real Betis and Lorente. And Betis remain optimistic about getting this transfer done. Leeds United playing a bit hardball to get a bit more money back. Obviously, they're not going to get all the money back. They are going to be making a loss, a big loss on this transfer, whatever happens. But it's just about, you know, gaining that little bit more money when you can uh, for Diego Lorente. But he looks like an exit that that will be happening very soon. Uh, a couple more things. Junior Furpa, we've touched on this in the last few days. Come back to preseason training. Shave trim. He's gone for the Ollie Ward haircut and uh, he's looking good. He seems to be a bit of the poster boy at the moment in, in the training kits, the kits and stuff. But Leeds United have given him the green light to go to the Olympic squad with the Dominican Republic. And uh, there was all this uproar about, you know, uh, he won't be back in time for the championship season. And this is because the final of the Olympics, I think, is a couple of days before the championship season starts. He's going to miss some preseason with Leeds United. But I don't know if Leeds United are now just thinking, you know, Dominican Republic will probably get knocked out quite early. You know, he's getting his preseason in now. He'll get some sort of preseason by playing with the Dominican Republic. Then he'll be back for Leeds United. Or they're going get rid of him. We're looking for a new left back. Either way, we need new left backs for, for competition because at the moment we've got Furpo, Sam Byram, and that pretty much covers the right back and the left back. So either way, we need right and left back. So even if Furpo stays and it looks like Furpo most likely will stay, um, yeah, we, we still need, we need competition. We need signings at right back and left back. So Legion United, if you're watching this, Let's get some signings in, shall we? And last but not least, uh, the new Leeds United kit has now dropped. A nice little Red Bull logo right on the front of it. Red, Red Bull. I know a lot of you might not be very happy with that. So get your comments in. What is your thought on the latest Leeds United kit for the upcoming season, guys? If you want to just keep seeing more videos, just show the absolute continued support you've been doing. It's been absolutely excellent. I've been blown away each day by your transfer. No, but not by my transfer videos, 
by your support on my transfer videos. I'm not that cocky. But yeah, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new as well. Get your comments in. What is the worst transfer in Leeds United history? And also your thoughts on all the transfer news and the new Leeds United kit. I personally like it, but there we go. Um, I've been Ollie Ward. You guys have been excellent. And I'll catch you in the next video. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>